Hey guys, Roman here with Snowball Tone and Gibson is in the news again about a little bit of a controversial video. Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here for Gibson Guitars. And it rubbed people the wrong way to where Gibson had to take the video down. The big daddy of them all, the Les Paul. This single cutaway carved maple top design originally came out in 1952. So Mark Agnesi talks about the shape and the headstock of the guitars that Gibson has produced over the years and that essentially they are all trademarks of a Gibson guitars. We have the mouse-eared F-hole semi-hollow body designed with the ES-335, 345, and 355, like the Flying V and Explorers, some of the most copied and imitated guitars of all times. And not just our body shapes, but things like the shape of the headstock, that open book design or mustache kind of design. All of those innovations and design elements are trademarks of Gibson. Any builder or overseas manufacturer that is copying or blatantly copying any part of the guitar of any of these models that he talks about is essentially infringing on their trademark. To the manufacturers out there, we want you to know that you've been warned. We're looking out and we're here to protect our iconic legacy and the designs that we've created over generations. So what Mark is saying is that if you're using a small element of any of the Gibson guitar design, which is either the body, the neck, is technically a counterfeit Gibson. It's kind of an interesting way to look at it. But he goes on. To all the people in the film and television and commercial industry, reach out to us. We want to work with you. Stop taping over the logos on the headstock. By the way, that's not enough to, to get out of a trademark infringement anyway. Contact us. We want to work with you. Um, artists and musicians will cover up logos on just the headstock, but he's saying that's not enough to not infringe on the Gibson design and trademark. Several years back, Gibson actually tried to sue PRS for their single cut guitars, and that went on for multiple years, and eventually Gibson lost, and PRS was able to make their single cut guitars again. So he's warning the guitar manufacturers to watch out to make sure that you're not infringing on Gibson's designs. And this isn't about us trying to be bullies or trying to stifle the boutique marketplace. This is about protecting our legacy. 125 years of innovation, and relevance in, in music. It probably is a video that looked better on paper than when they released it and they kind of got that backlash. And so this is kind of a new approach for Gibson. It's pretty raw and pretty forward, and uh, they're just trying to kind of salvage the company's reputation. It's not been very good, but we'll see what Gibson does moving forward. Um, so thanks for watching and stay tuned.